Welcome to yet another episode guys. We're in Luperon, probably the best hurricane hole in the world. Now this is the main road and usually it's bustling and hustling with hundreds of bikes, people yelling, voices, shouts, honks, and it's just completely quiet. There's maybe four people around and this is all because of the coronavirus epidemic. And on that point, I would really, really like to send my condolences to all the families that's contacted me over the last two weeks and said, Steph, thank you so much for your videos. I feel better. I have actually got the coronavirus. My grandmother's got the coronavirus and I wish I could do something. All I can do is keep producing these films and I hope that you find some sort of inspiration from it. So in this episode today, guys, have you ever wanted to win a competition? Well, I have. I've probably failed most of the time. And uh, somebody contacted me and said, I want to win a fishing competition. It's not a guy. It is probably one of the most beautiful women that I've met. She's married to a friend of mine now. And she's got the most beautiful blonde hair. You don't think that she'll be able to catch a tuna this big. Well, can she win this competition? We entered her into a competition. And in this today's episode, you'll see her, Judith, catch tuners and hopefully win this competition thank you so much for watching smash that subscribe button like and share that's how you can help me and remember you are awesome and you can accomplish and overcome anything that you set your mind to have a great day all the way from Lupron in the Dominican Republic see you later my friend So that's the catch of the day with a big one on the bay. And there's a lot of anxiousness on the boat to know whether we have a winner here or not. Thanks for feeding us. Well, you guys, welcome to the Tuna Derby 2019. I'm Stefan, and uh, or Captain Liu, as you know me. And it's uh, almost 5 a.m. and we're ready to go. Okay, let's see what's up at night. Thank you. Bye, thank you, Peter. Bye, thank you, Peter. Thank you. So it's the best out of three days uh, that you can go and catch some fish. So the best three days of weather is when the guys will be going out. And the first prize is 700,000 rands worth of boat. Up for grabs. Yes, baby, we're in for that. So uh, last year, the, the guys that I'm with now came second in the competition. So there's a very good chance that maybe this year we move one up. Springboks won the Rugby World Cup. There's no reason why we cannot win this. trawlers because as they work they clean the fish and they create a nice chum line. The competition works like this you have to enter with three fish, two yellow fins and one long fin but the long fin needs to be 15 kilograms or more and we're thinking we might be a little bit undersized for that. Maybe about 12 or 13 kilograms we'll see. Let me start it bro. Let me start it. The 
Okay, boss, what are we doing now? Cutting up some chun. Okay. We've got a chun line here. Try and get these big monsters to come up and come feed, yeah. So you're basically just cutting them up in small little pieces and throwing them overboard? Yes. Right now we're fighting against these guys. Going down and eating our bait. Suck! Suck! <laughs> so she's really struggling to get her bait in because the birds keep going for it. <laughs> Come on guys, give us a break! Right, so we're putting on a sardine and we're gonna let that go. Fish on! Fish on! Slack down. Okay. Good job. What's it feel like? Lacquer. Yeah. Lacquer? That feels good. Watch out that rod. Okay. Give it a bit of slack, yeah? Bonkers. Okay. Gonna go over. Like a mockers. Okay. There is this one. Nice size, better. Nice better. size. Oh, Good job. Let's get those yellows, man. Well done. And us. Well done. Crazy on the boat. So much action. <laughs> so we landed three now in a question of like five minutes. And you're on again. On again. We fast. Fast, fast. There we go. He's coming up. There we go. You can see him. He's coming. He's coming. Look at that silverfish. Beautiful. Well, well done. done. Yeah. Alright cool. you guys, I'm here with Marcus and he came all the way from the Netherlands to go and fish on the tuna door It's your second one, eh? It's the second one, that's correct. Like it. So, we were just saying how things can change in these competitions because one guy caught four yellows today, that's, right? That's correct. And what happened then? And then his boat broke down, he blew the engine head. He might be out of the comp. He might be out of the comp and we might be in it still. We're going to do the tuna dance! Yeah. Yeah. We are back in Hout Bay and it's the first day of the Tuna Derby. What an amazing day of fishing, but it was tough. We have six long fin tunas. We can only weigh in one and we're hoping that it's more than 15 kilograms. Apparently there was a 91 kilogram yellow fin that came out today, which we'll go and see and inspect. All right, so this is where we weigh in. We hear the guys go drop their fish and uh, see if they're in the competition or not. There we go, we have uh, one long fin to weigh in for the long fin size. Please let it be 15 kilograms. 15.4! So happy we're in the competition. Good job, buddy. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> just have to say, I didn't catch the most fish, but at least I know the guy that caught most of it. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Look at this, guys. Yeah! Beautiful. Well done. Came to the lookout deck in Hout Bay and they cooked our tuna for us. A beautiful salad and a nice bowl of pommes frites with chips. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. There you go. That's our tuna boy. Thank you. Well, a good evening to you guys. It's the night before the second day of the tuna derby and we have just been given some masamis and some food for tomorrow. Let's introduce you to the sami maker. Please introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Sandy. Sandy, thank you so much for feeding us. It's only a pleasure. I do get paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. Do they ever give you some tuna? Never. Should we change that? Yes, please. Maybe tomorrow we'll give you a piece of tuna. That would be so nice. But just one, like yes. a little piece of sashimi. Okay, that's fine. It's better than nothing. <laughs> Of course, every day is Bry Day in South Africa, so it's the night before the second day of the tuna derby. We're going to have a nice fire, make some scop chops, and have a good time and talk about all the big fish we can catch tomorrow. Let's do 
trying to show you guys this guy's hauling up his nets I'm on the bow of the boat and I'm holding on for dear life there's the net coming in and then all the fish I hope it's not too shaky yeah okay guys so in the far distance we have some birds diving into the water and that's where we're going right now so this is extreme fishing hard Bay, south africa we're 40 miles offshore we're catching in the tuna derby right now and this is what it looks like catch of the day with a big one under there and there's a lot of anxiousness on the boat to know whether we have a winner here or not okay here comes our team let's see what happened are we in it to win it? <laughs> okay, so the other lady that is in the ladies competition is at 57.2 and we need to beat 57.2. I think we have a good chance. What do you say? How do you feel? Are you nervous? Do you think we're going to beat 57.2? It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. It's going to be seriously tight. Okay, guys, this is the moment of truth. We have to beat 57.2. Is it that fish is smaller. 57.2, eh? No, but that thing is smaller. Is it smaller? No. Damn it. Let's see. Come on. That's competition. How do you we did our best. Yeah, we, you did your best. You did really good. We. Oh, yeah. Short is 4 kilograms. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. What an amazing epic time. And uh, thank you for following along and see you next time.